Now, Newsom, meanwhile, has stepped into the national spotlight with a new TV ad attacking anti-abortion laws across the country. This one aimed at the Tennessee bill that would restrict people from traveling out of state for abortions. CBS News reporter Steve Large has the story. The political ad titled Hostage depicts a teenage girl handcuffed in a hospital bed with a woman narrating her plight. Trump Republicans want to criminalize young women who travel to receive the reproductive care they need. Governor Newsom defended the ad campaign's messaging on Meet the Press. The conditions are much more pernicious than they even appear. These guys are not just restricting the rights of self-determination to bear a child for a young, child, uh, young woman, but they're also determining their fate as it relates to their future in life by saying they can't even travel. The new ads are airing in Tennessee where abortion is banned and a proposed law would also ban what's described as abortion trafficking of a minor making it a felony for someone other than a parent to travel with a minor to another state where an abortion could be legally performed. I mean, there it goes again. Sacramento-based Republican strategist Tab Berg says Newsom's ad exploits the abortion issue. And other than, I mean, do I think this will be effective? No. I mean, do I think it's way over the top? I mean, a handcuffed girl you know, 15-year-old rape victim. And I mean, it's so absurd. A December Reuters Ipsos poll showed 70% of Americans said protecting abortion access in their state would be an important issue in determining their vote in November. Now this Newsom campaign attacking a Tennessee bill. Don't let them hold Tennessee women hostage. Creating a powerful image to make a political point. Now, this new ad was paid for by a political action committee. Newsom launched last year with $10 million of his state campaign funds.